So you get two choices in this country, right? Paper or plastic. And the Republicans are always like, oh, 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 oh. And the Democrats are always like, nah, 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 nah. and so people become dissatisfied and disillusioned with that system. So out of, out of the blue, all of a sudden, a third puppet emerges. Hey, guys, it's Bunny Sandals. I was like, oh, what up? It's like, oh, do you hate the rich? I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, I don't know any of them personally, but like, I bumped into Tom Cruise once. He was kind of a cunt. Does Universal College make your pee pee go boing boing? It's like, well, I have been lacking on my student loans, and they feed on your insecurity and your inability to pay the bills. And that's part of the con. It's just like the puppet starts speaking facts. Look at this poor family of diabetes who can't afford insulin. We're gonna go over the board. I was like, wow, the puppet is spitting facts to the point where you forget he's a puppet. Do you like pornos? And it just keeps going and going and he promises and promises. Oh, you just gotta give me money and vote. I'm and so I'm like, wait a minute. Why are you in the Democratic Party if you say you hate the Democratic Party? Oh, you see, uh, I'm using them. They're totally not using me. And I still agree with the socialist ideas, like the outcomes, like the imaginary outcomes that they put up, where it's like, yeah, we should strive for everybody to have health care for next to no cost. I believe that. But is socialism the answer to that? I don't think so. I don't think capitalism is the answer either. Because Trump is probably the biggest con artist in America, but at least he lets you know. He's just like, my supporters are the biggest fucking retards on the planet. And his supporters are like, yeah, He's spitting facts. I'm like, no, what are you doing? Like, don't vote for this guy, you fucking idiot. That's why we're fucking idiots. He's like, oh, Trump. <laughs> but I'm a little smarter than that. Socialists, I think, in general, are a little more academic. And so we base our emotions off of ideas, even if they have unrealistic uh, outcomes. You could say, Bernie comes along, Bunny Sandals comes along. Like, oh, you just gotta give me money or you can get all this free stuff. And then people in the ghetto is like, yo, toss me it, what up? Bernie Sanders, he's giving out that free fries, yo. Nah. And then you go out and say, I'm gonna cast my vote for this guy, you're all optimistic and the voting process itself is extremely complex and needlessly fucked. And it's like, if they really cared about you doing it, wouldn't they just make it online? It just doesn't make any sense. But, oh, all oh, securities. And during the 2016 election, I was an election manager in my district. So I was literally given the ballots to take them to a school. I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I could just run off with these and give them to Russia. It's like, no, it's like, this is how it works. I'm like, okay, should we just flip a fucking coin and decide who wins? And of course that night, uh, Trump won. So even as a cynical socialist uh, teenager at the time, which I was, you, ha you had to relent and just be like, ah, oh, come on, give, give, give Bernie a shekel, you know? Oh, Bunny Sandals, I'm promising you the world here, come on. And it's like, okay, cha-ching. Thank you. And three months later, it's like, hey, yeah, what about that universal health care? And the, the, the election's still going on. There's no result yet. And Bernie goes, oh, the universal health care? Oh. And then Obama's like, oh, yep, oh, yes, sir, oh, oh, Hampton Mansion, huh? oh, American Dream. It's like, dude, you are blowing Obama.